Anderson, after the fight, said that he learned that front kick to the face from you. Right. Where'd you teach that? Where'd you learn that? Where did I learn? You know, sort of a, a variation of that in Japan probably 30, 40 years ago. It's not exactly karate, it's just something that I created. Nobody yeah. knows the kick, I'm teaching it to Machida. And How did you actually meet Anderson? Gosh, I don't remember. Hello. Many of us remember that iconic day where, like a samurai, Anderson Silva switched off Vitor Belfort. Interestingly though, Lyoto Machida did the same many years later. Here we see the same thing, the front snap kick. What makes this kick so powerful though? Psychological blind spot. The masses have a tendency of bashing more traditional styles, but here's another example of a traditional strike working like magic. The distinction between this and a tape would be that a tape is more of a push with the balls of the feet, whereas a front kick is a whipping motion. It's whipping the balls of the feet into the target. One is more of a distancing tool, the other, especially in this case, whips a lot more speed at the risk of damaging your own foot. Watch how the opponent sees the kick a mile away, but his arms don't really know what to do. He has not trained response to deal with this technique, and you know, it's as they say, you can only fight the way you train. Notice how he's actually smiling before taking the kick. Perhaps as an instinctive response, he knew he was going to have to take it, thus his response is perhaps something he rehearsed. To smile when he takes a hit to both encourage himself but also discourage his opponent. The strike coming, the moment he focused on delivering that taunt. The chemistry of calcium rushing into the cell membrane sends him into a haze. He's out of it. But watch how he's still standing. He's out of his senses from here. He's wide open. Boom. The lights have no choice but to go out. All Steven Seagal jokes aside, why don't we see more of this effective traditional technique despite it being proven successful time and time again? Well, imagine throwing a low kick for the first time in a real situation. It likely won't feel too good, would it? It feels horrible even when you first condition it against the bag, but over time, boom, 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 drilling it over and over again, eventually, you get good at it. It takes diligence for some years to condition their shins to consistently effectively deliver a simple low kick without their nerves firing off in agony. It's the same with a front snap kick, any technique really, its effectiveness comes like steel hammering it into form against a hard place. Many think traditional styles aren't as good, they throw the whole system away without considering if whether or not some of it could be useful. Honestly, if you took a man who possessed the Muay Thai spirit, the relentless warrior hunger of a Thai, I guarantee you he'd crush. From my experience, traditional systems are often a lot softer on their students because they either have work or school the next day, but it's the same as a pen. Some people can barely form sentences because they've only cared to refine enough English to respond to their Tinder messages. Others have taken a far greater diligence to the mastery of an art form. They've creatively explored more avenues, further refining the spectrum through which they can articulate themselves. The one who's more serious about learning and mastering will make more of the little he or she has. That is all. It's simple. But of course, we often find the truth of simplicity is usually the harder answer. I made a second channel where if here you ask a question about your life in the comments below, I'd like to casually answer it to the best of my knowledge and experience. Life advice. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you. Smash like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.